Positive punishment means what? Positive means something was added. Punishment means the behavior went down or stopped altogether. So we have positive punishment, meaning something was added that resulted in the behavior decreasing. Negative punishment means that negative, something was taken away, and that resulted in the behavior decreasing. So positive punishment, behavior or an item was taken away or something was taken away from the environment that resulted in a behavior decrease. So this is generally what it looks like, okay? I add something to the environment that makes it positive. If the behavior increased, it's reinforcement. So when we add something to the environment that results in a behavior increasing, it's positive reinforcement. However, if we add something to the environment that results in the behavior decreasing, then that's positive punishment. Positive, not because it's good, positive because we've added something to the environment that resulted in the behavior going down. Then we take something away from the environment that results in the behavior increasing. When we take it away, it's negative. And because the behavior increased, it's reinforcement. However, if I take something away from the environment, but it results in the behavior going away because I've taken something out of the environment, it's negative, and because it's gone away, it's punishment. Uh, there's another term uh, for negative punishment. I didn't put that up in the slides because I totally forgot, but it is um, response cost, okay? There's a cost to our behaviors. So let's take a look at some examples then. Let's say something like public speaking. Okay, I'm going to speak in front of a large crowd. Okay, it's, uh, uh, so, um, so that's the behavior that we're taking a look at, public speaking. We're going to start with the most simple terms, and then we'll get into the most complicated terms. Okay, so let's say that I gave a public speech, and it was a rousing success. People were like, whoa, yay, that was an awesome speech. Okay. So that event happened, okay? And so what that is the thing that got added is the applause, the um, uh, compliments, all of those uh, the claim that you get from doing a really good speech, okay? All that stuff got added into the environment. And because of that, I do a lot more public speaking, okay? And so what happens is that, oh, because I added the applause, the acclaim, all of those kind of things, and it resulted in me doing more public speaking, that's positive reinforcement. Positive because the applause, the acclaim all got added <clears throat> and my behavior changed by doing it more often. Now let's rewind it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna start back again with the public speaking. The reception is horrible. Nobody likes my speech. Everybody's disparaging it. Oh my God, he's the worst speaker, most boring speaker in the world, blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, what got at, something got added. All right. So in the first example, acclaim, cheers, all that got stuff got added. In this instance, booze got added. The, the negativity, the all of that stuff got added in this instance. It's still positive. Even though nobody likes that, right? Like, well, most people don't. But because it got added, it's positive. Then after that, I stopped doing any public speaking. Nobody can find me. Nobody can, every time anybody invites me to publicly speak, I just decline. I don't do it anymore. And so because the behavior went down, that's punishment. And because the booze got added in, that makes it positive punishment. All right, uh, now we're gonna talk about negative reinforcement. And negative reinforcement by and far is the most challenging one to understand. So uh, I just realized I totally missed an example for uh, negative um, uh, punishment here. Uh, I think, oh no, I have it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, made a mistake. All right. 
So I did include it. Um, all right. So um, when we're talking about negative reinforcement, then we're talking about something being taken away. Okay. And a lot of times before like a big speech or I have to talk in front of groups, you know, like that butterflies like in, in your stomach, like, oh, oh, I'm so nervous, like, ah, oh, you know. And then when you start to publicly speak and you're talking and you're talking, the anxiety, all that stress leaves you, okay? What gets removed is the stress. What gets removed is all that anxiety. So because the stress left me, okay? that makes it negative and because i continue to go and do public speaking i continue to do those kind of things that makes it reinforcement okay negative because the stress the anxiety got removed okay and that resulted in me continuing to do the public speaking Let's talk about negative punishment now, okay? So negative punishment has to do with um, removal, right? Negative means something gets taken away and that results in me stopping my behaviors, right? So let's say I'm talking, okay? I'm blah, blah, blah talking and then a person leaves, all right? All right, that's okay. Um, I keep on talking and more people leave, okay? And I keep on talking and more and more people leave until there's only like one or two people left at my speaking engagement, okay? Now, the people leaving, that's negative, okay? Because it, they're being removed from that environment. And because then that causes me to be like, oh, I don't want to ever do this again. And I stopped going to do these kind of public speaking events, then that's punishment. Negative because the people got taken away. Okay. And punishment because the behavior went away. Okay, let's switch examples. Let's talk about washing dishes. I happened to wash the dishes and my wife was like, oh, thank God you did it. Oh, yay. You know, like, oh, she's really happy. Okay, that got added to the environment. That gets me to do the dishes more often. My behavior has increased. That's positive reinforcement. Positive because all that attention, the hugging, the, you know, that got added. That resulted in me doing it more often. Then that's reinforcement. However, let's say I wash the dishes again, but then my wife is criticizing how I wash the dishes. Well, look at these dishes. They're not even clean. Look, you can still see. Okay. So in this instance, it's still added. The criticism, the complaining, all that stuff got added. If I stop washing the dishes altogether, that makes that process positive punishment. Okay, positive because the criticism got added into the environment and punishment because the behavior stopped. Now let's take a look at negative punishment, okay? Um, so, um, hold on, wait a minute, did I? Okay, all right, so let's say that I wash the dishes uh, again, okay? And while I'm washing my dishes, my wife takes my favorite treats and eats them all and I don't have anything left, okay? So what gets removed is my favorite treat. The results will be like, well, when I wash the dishes, my favorite food is eaten and I stop washing the dishes, okay? If I stop washing the dishes, that means it's punishment because something got taken out of the environment that makes it negative. So in this instance, it's negative punishment that you know i hardly wash the dishes and my wife always complains blah 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 why don't you wash the dishes more blah 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 nagging 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 okay she's bothering me all the time about washing dishes and then when i wash the dishes she stops nagging me what gets um uh, removed was the nagging and if my behavior increases i start to wash the dishes more often because 
it gets you to stop nagging, then that is negative reinforcement. Negative because the nagging stopped. Okay, it got removed from the environment. And because the behavior of dishwashing increased, that makes it reinforcement. Any time where you have an event that happens that results in a behavior increasing, it's called reinforcement. The specific item that caused the behavior change is called the reinforcer. Thing here, any time a behavior goes down or is eliminated as a byproduct of an event, that event is called punishment. And that the item that caused the behaviors to decrease is called the punisher. Right. So that wraps up uh, another edition here. Grabbed all these images from pixabay.com. Um, so thank you for allowing me to use all these images uh, while I discuss uh, these things. Okay. Uh, now, um, I think uh, next week we're going to um, actually go into um, really kind of talking about what happens because like oh we, we now you know, know the terminology behind it but what really happens in situations like oh how do all of these things uh, affect our behaviors you know because these are terms that describe the events that are happening all around us at all times and it's not as if only positive reinforcement only positive punishment only negative reinforcement only uh, negative uh, punishment are present at any given time. All of these forces are at work at the same time, pushing and pulling our behaviors, okay? And so we'll take a look at um, that a little bit more in depth uh, the next time. All right, well then uh, that wraps up another episode uh, for us. Um, like always, uh, happy to receive feedback. Uh, and especially today, we've incorporated a little bit of the multimedia here. And so let us know how that worked out for you, if that was even necessary, um, you know, and give us the feedback. Uh, again, join us again next week. Uh, please, uh, you know, hit like if you enjoyed this presentation and then um, click on, um, what is that other button? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh oh, you're muted. <laughs> I can't hear you. All right. Um, thanks uh, for uh, joining us, and we'll see everybody next time.